Hello everyone, it's the Grand Strategy Nerd bringing you another episode of A House United here in Victoria 2. So we've managed to not embroil ourselves in wars and smear a couple of nations in the last episode. So, let's start nerding it up. It'd be good if I didn't turn off the recording instead of unpausing the game, but here we are back again. Um, sure. Cruel and... Grueling work? Is that supposed to be gruel and grueling work? Gruel, yeah. The pension system has been on everyone's lips and minds the past week with the publication of parliamentary report on the pension system. The report is fairly nuanced in its overall conclusions about the system. But the issue that has stuck with people is an attached case study interview with an elderly gentleman left out of the pension system on what seems like mere technicalities who complains about having worked hard all his life but now being fed nothing but gruel. Make light of the situation? Um, oh, lose militancy, right? Isn't that what we want? We want less militancy? These stupid movements. Confederate liberation movement bullshit. Bullshit, man. That's what it is. Hey, I want interventionism too, everyone. We hold an election, the Republican parties win. We have been our our country has been in a Republican stronghold this entire this most of this all because of my stupidity. I should have just kept the Democrats, but no, I wanted to make it more realistic. Well, that didn't help, right? I'm really wondering if I should attack Africa. Um, I really, really wonder who are the Italians allied with. Now they're already in the war of Ottoman. They are allied. Ah, they're Ottoman. They're allied with Britain. Damn Britain. Always getting in my way. Always getting in my way. That's really annoying. I didn't even look to see where we're at here. Uh huh. Healthy lead over Germany. Late interwar bombers. Excellent. Yes, you may, Britain. Because I'm a nice guy, Britain, unlike you. Who just seeks to thwart me at every turn. Alright. And, ooh, I can expel the Japanese again. And, let's see, this. why doesn't this give me a lead? That's what I don't understand. I don't have any investment in them. That's one of the problems with Mexico. Yeah, I'm pretty much just lost Uruguay. Oh well. Oh well, I guess I lost Uruguay. Um, I don't know where those places are. Yes, now that you're done with your war. I like how they always just come back to me. I tell you, man, those British. I have a feeling that our the the sides in Hearts of Iron three. Uh, once once we move this over, it's going to be me against Britain, really. Um, and I don't really find that very appeasing, but. Uh, is what it is, I guess. And it looks like the Ottomans are about ready to get attacked by Austria-Hungary. But I can't point out there, even though I know it's happening. Oh, there we go. We're going to move to... Oh, wow, we have a lot to go to social science. Oh, well, I guess the women... I guess maybe the women won't have a right to vote. I guess it is going to go to 1936 here. Oh, that's happening pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We're going to get Darwinism and social Darwinism. Hmm, interesting. Uh, what do we have the highest presented chance of getting? Rare area dumps. All right. But we got interwar infantry. Excellent. I really wish I knew where the other countries were at here. 
I kind of went modern naval design. Phenomology and hermeneutics. Hermeneutics. That's all. That's all. Um, like educational stuff. Anti-rationalism. Oh, I like that. That sounds interesting. Quantum theory. Futurism. Quantum theory in 1930s. Oh, I guess so. Right. Yes, Spain, finally. Oh, because we've been so thoroughly brought low by Britain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that bullshit. Portugal. And come up here, social science, so we can actually give the women the right to vote. Hopefully. Who knows what they're going to... I knew they were going to do it. See, I didn't even bother. I, I knew they were going to do it. Uh, Nejid. Those Ottomans are... Yo, look at that! Jumped up to number one. Booyah! Suck it, UK. Yeah, who's who's in the lead now, UK? Yeah, that's awesome. We just jumped ahead of them because of our military. See, build enough, build enough ships. Keep on building these ships here, uh, dreadnoughts. Shall we host the 10th Olympic Games? Yes. Yes, we shall. Alright, that's cool. We shall host those games. I don't know why I'm singing it, but yeah, that's pretty cool. That's, that's amazing that we jumped up there. We really haven't expanded our... Uh, our athletes are victorious. Oh, wow, that happened fairly quickly. But cool. Good for us. Dynam? Thought we already sphered them. Oh, no, that's right. Then we went to war with them. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I want to keep on clicking on the top spot there. But they're not there anymore. It's all us. We now have the top military. We are the most prestigious. Sympathy strike. Time is on our side. Yeah, we'll do that. And uh, most prestigious and the best and largest military in the world. And to celebrate, we're going to build some more infantry. Tensions in Austria-Hungary. We're going to start our position. Okay. I'm going to pause it here for a second so that we can build some stuff up here in the north. And I'm going to have to change our... I'm finally getting western units uh, so that I can change our um, rally points. Yeah, get some cav units. Okay, that seems like enough. So we're going to move it. Where are our rally points? In Fredericksburg. Take that off. And why don't we set up shop in Seattle? Seattle and, of course... Sitka for all of our folks up here in the north. Yeah, buddy. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Social science. Let's give the women the vote. 
The idea of women's suffrage increasingly gained traction in Western society throughout the 19th century, first advocated in the writings of early liberal philosophers such as England's Mary Wollstonecraft or John Stuart Mill. The idea and ideology of women's suffrage gradually developed as the century wore on into a coherent ideology in its own right, feminism. That was a huge run-on sentence. The experience during the First World War of women working in factories and other jobs previously reserved for men during peacetime is often said to have been a crucial pivot point in securing women's right to work, vote, and, in other fields of society, achieve legal equality with men. So who's ah for us? Army. No, what do I want to do? Modern naval design. That's it. Um... Uh, there we go. Ah, I could have increased jingoism there. Gotta look at things more closely next time. Uh, we have a very tenuous relationship at best here with, with England. No, not accept. Not accept. No. No, they hate us. They're already our ally. Yeah, I'm not really friends with the rest of the great powers, am I? Just China. Which is not always a sure thing, but... Uh, yeah, not, not very happy with all of them. Now, Spain's with the military alliance with the UK. I wonder if I should bring over units uh, into Portugal. Oh, increase that jingoism one way or another. Yeah, buddy. Mm-hmm. Ah, political science. And what do we have here? Where, where are all those... Oh, we don't have a rally point over here, do we? Oh, we did. Let's, uh... Move all the ships over here. Didn't realize that happened. Uh, soldiers need better, wouldn't. Military and defense debate. <clears throat> uh, can we bring in more jingoism? Nope, guess not. We're gonna... Uh, cancel. And the Republicans won. I really thought we had something going there. Really thought we had something going there. Bolivia... Cool. Is Norfolk a rally point? It is. Washington is not. Okay. <clears throat> Since under Uruguay. Do do do. Oh man. Oh no. Our, our huge Hawaiian military here. <laughs> Yes. Yes, Netherlands. Yeah, Denmark. Australia. Well, the Japanese definitely have the, hand, the leg up there. As I already said about them, they are going to sphere Australia. Need more power here to New Zealand. They are in a s proletarian dictatorship, though. You know, don't worry about that. They're nice people. Upper house rearranged? Not really. Looks like everything's staying the same here with the upper house. And we are still increasing our lead. Excellent. The UK has not been very prestigious. Na -na -na. Oh, I don't know what hate you. Oh, I guess that's in Korea. <clears throat> what do we need here? We need some engineers from Korea. Uh, Oman? Intolerable? Uh, it's just Argentina. Nothing really worried about there in Argentina. 
in Sphere Oman. So they can accuse us of whatever they want. They're still in my sphere. Sucker. I guess I could have um, banned their embassy. I could have banned their embassy and then come back around and sphere them, but oh well. Now Egypt. Why do I always do that? Egypt's in Africa. 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, you just did that. What the hell? Ye Britain? It's like they're, they're smarting for a fight here. They don't know who they're messing with. I uh, can't build any more armies. I don't think I... Oh, I can. Okay, that's fine. Uh, well, that doesn't help me. Okay. It's good. I'll build some engineers here. Hamhung. I always think that looks like Hamburg. <clears throat> I think I'm in Germany. And Misor. No, we'll just do that. I don't really care about Misor too much. So, so anthropology. Cool. <clears throat> Our colonial prestige goes up. Not that we're really colonizing anymore. The one uncolonizable location in the world. Jodhpuri. Nationalists have enforced their demands on the UK. Good old Jodhpur. Jodhpuri. They're not even allied with us. They won't even accept it now. That's weird. Man, these factories just building and building and building and building and building. Mm -hmm. Modern naval design, excellent. We'll do great war experience. Oh, that's fine. Uh, yeah. I'm all about losing militancy. I like our budget. Very nice. Population continued to grow. There's only 45 million. Oh, this is our adult male population. Okay. <clears throat> well, that makes much more sense, doesn't it? Is this Portugal? Um, sure. Oh, it becomes a great war. What the hell happened there? Oh, I <laughs> should Whoops. Should have looked at that. At least Britain's on my side. But yeah, I, I guess I should have. That's all right. And we'll bring these guys out here. Hey, why don't you go fight your countrymen? I'm going to give as little participation as I can to these guys. I didn't think it would be like that. Oh, hey. Well, I guess I'll go to Coimbra. Uh, yeah, I got you guys. Oh. We can increase our sphere of influence on the Ottomans, apparently. Apparently Ottomans are part of Europe. Now, will you start, I hate it when they start controlling my people. Ah, there we are done. We have reached 1936. I wonder what they're going to do with this war here. We did win that. 100 momentous years have passed and we entered in and we entered the modern age. The world is a radically different place. How did your country do? Actually, well, we finished number 1. So let's look into this. Um yeah, so 63 episodes, everyone. 63 episodes, and here we are. Finished up in 1936. Number one in the world. Um, I don't know if I quit, if that ends it. So, so I'm not going to do anything about it there. Uh, I, can, I can't move 
the game over thing, but I can do overlays over it. So, uh, we are in the midst of a war, which I was going to win. Oh, they, wow, everyone's stacking up on them. I guess I should have demanded some stuff, too. Um, number one, have the largest military without even having to mobilize. If I were to mobilize, I wonder what we would uh, be up to here. Brigades to mobilize. 984 brigades. Holy hell. So with this uh, trading, uh, converting this over to RSR in 3, I don't know how long it's going to take. But I'm definitely looking forward to it. It seems that I'm, I'm the big boy. Uh, I'm the big man on campus here. My, my, um, yeah, my, my politics is a mess, though. I, I really don't like this. Um, look at that socialism. 20, only 27%. Oh. At least we have women's suffrage. Uh, I don't like how the Confederate liberation movement's been around. Obviously, you guys have heard me bitch about that enough. But yeah, I think we did we did really well. Look at all these that we could release. Commonwealth of Fiji, Haiti, Dominican Republic, New England, Texas, Korea. I think uh, our playthrough in Hearts of Iron of of this save is going to be awesome. So, um, yeah, just look forward to that. Thank you, everyone, who has stuck with me from episode one of this. You guys are awesome. Uh, if you came in in the middle of it, you guys are awesome, too. If this is your first time watching it, you guys are doubly awesome, triply awesome, quadruply awesome. So thank you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For watching this series, it is, I believe it's my first complete playthrough, well, of a Paradox game on my channel. Uh, so, who's off for that? You guys can see that, yes, I can play a game completely until the end. So, for the last time here in Victoria 2, in, in this series at least, of, of House United, uh, I want to say thank you. If you like this video, for feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you want to go ahead and share my our moment of triumph here in our 63rd episode, go ahead and share that wherever you want to across the interwebs. And if you have not yet subscribed after watching 63 episodes or if this is your first, you can click on that red subscribe button either below this video or at the end of it. Clicking on that red subscribe button lets me know that I'm doing a great job overall and you want to see more Grand Strategy games on my channel from me, the Grand Strategy Nerd. Until next time, everyone, good night and good luck. All right, so we're going to call this the, the epilogue. Um, kudos to you if you, if you watch the whole thing, because this will appear after, um, after my end card. But, uh, but yeah, so actually there was another screen, because I'm a moron, and of course there would be another screen. But we would just, if we wanted to really go over this, here's all the great powers. Uh, I am good 300 points ahead of the UK. Uh, here's all the secondary powers. Mexico is actually secondary power, surprisingly. But I am the biggest. I am the great power here. So uh, 45 million adult males over the age of 30. Our literacy rate is 96%, which is awesome for 1936 in America. Uh, I have to tell you, that's actually really, really good. 500 brigades. I remember we could mobilize 984 from our population. We have 130 warships. Um... We are a democracy still. Republican Party has been our ruling party forever. Didn't really get that much on the technology front or on the inventions, but that's my own fault. And uh, and then that's where we're at. So, this is the end. Sayonara, everyone. <laughs>